Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and I am bringing you Vienna's Explosion Box card because today is Vienna's birthday. She is two years old, and she came to me when she was maybe eight months, so we're guessing this is about her second birthday. And this is just the day that I picked because Valentine seemed like a really good day for her to have a birthday. So that's her and her brother recently. They're just such fun dogs. They make my life complete. But I thought I'd use this set of dogs and cats uh, called Good Friends. And I'm going to make an explosion box. I haven't made one of these. You can see it's still in the packaging. So we are going to open that and figure out how it works. But first I'm going to do the coloring. And what I did was stamp all the images first and get them die cut. Because I'm a terrible, terrible die cutter, I can't seem to get them lined up well. So. I wanted to get them die cut first so that I didn't waste my time coloring if I got them really crooked. And I did get some of them a little crooked, but you know, it's good enough. At least I haven't cut off any legs like I sometimes do. So there you go. This first stamp I've adapted to be Vienna. So she has a bigger spot on her head than the stamp did. She's got black ears and then her, the rest of her body is white. She has some little spots on it, but if I drew them on there, it would make her look like she's chicken pox. So going to leave her with just a white body and then she has a little white spot right above her tail and then do some gray shading and next up I'm going to color her brother because her brother has to be on the card too so that is little giallo my golden my my little monster who eats my craft supplies he ate my my white pen recently little bugger he eats everything he's just we've had a lot of rain in the last month so he's been getting a little stir crazy. He can't quite handle not being out in the park and being outside as much as usual. So yeah, I can't wait till the weather gets nicer. But he used a couple different colors and I was trying to figure out what colors I wanted to use this time. I used a lot of different colors when I color goldens and this one started feeling a little bit overly orangey. And so I was trying to get the blending down and then I thought I'm gonna take another marker and adjust the color to make it just a little more on an, on the natural side by using an E11. Just put a little coat of that over most of it, leave a little bit of that highlight color on his back, and for the most part, that made me much happier. So it, it dulled it down just a tiny, tiny bit. This other dog, uh, I decided to make it look like Toby. Now Toby died recently, died at Thanksgiving time, and he was Sierra's best friend. Do you guys remember Sierra? My my last golden? Well, she had a best friend whose name was Toby and they hung out all the time together and Sierra went home first across the Rainbow Bridge and Toby, his old, old, old dog, finally left himself and that was very sad, but his mama also died recently and that made me really sad and the day that I was working on this video I found out that his mama had died around New Year's. So yeah, that was kind of a sad thing but it made me feel good that I was doing a dog card and I could give a little honor to Toby in doing this because Toby was a dark dog, darkish dog and he did have some spots on him and he had some black on his ears so we're going to give him some really nice dark ears so he'll have some contrast. And of course, he's going to be the running crazy dog on the card, so it'll be perfectly appropriate to honor him that way. So I'll get the rest of this little stuff colored, and then I'll color my two kitties. Now on the explosion box, my kitties are going to hide, because my kitties hide from the dogs. They are old, they do not have patience for puppy energy, but they will be at the, at the party on the card. They're just going to be hiding. So this is the black kitty, and her name is Suki. And that's short for Suki Neko, which means in Japanese, black cat. So there you go. Ink name is named after black cat, as well as my kitty. And this is much skinnier than my Suki is, but you know, we're all skinnier in pictures, right? At least if we Photoshop ourselves. <laughs> so moving right along trying to make some highlights on the cat so that the face actually shows up and doesn't end up being just a black blob and sort of messing around with trying to lighten the color with the C5 but then I got splotches in there so I just went in with a quick coat of C6 
to just smooth that out a little bit. And then finally, of course, doing punch, because punch has to come to the party too. And I was playing around with what the difference is between a W and a, and a C marker when I was coloring him on his little spots and kind of paying attention to looking at where he, where he's got little spots on his legs because he does have some, some spots that go down there too. I'm trying to make it look like him so that Vienna would recognize him at the party on the explosion box card. So there they are all colored up and happy. Such fun little dogs in this stamp set, Dogs and Kitties. If you're an animal lover, it's a fun set to play with. Now for the box. I cut all my dies apart and you have to make two of these pieces. Don't fold back one of the long pieces. That's gonna be the back of the card or the back of the box. So you want that one to stay where it is and just fold on all the score lines that are provided for you. And I just got a new Teflon bone folder. Like everybody's talked about these for years and I hadn't got one and I was like, ooh, this one's kinda nice. Uh, so I'm getting nice crisp edges now, which is pretty sweet. Makes me happy camper. To adhere anything that's gonna be interactive, I always use Be Creative Tape. And it comes in all different kinds of widths and using the really skinny, skinny, skinny stuff this time. And putting it on the little tabs. And thank you to Kelly Marie from Lawn Fawn, whose video I watched so I could learn how to put this thing together because it would have been hard without that. So I will link you to her video at the end of this one because it's awesome because Kelly Marie is fabulous. So you just line these two up so you have one long piece, fold it over, and then you fold the other side over and it lines up just like she says. She promises it would. This is a box that doesn't have a bottom. That confused me a little bit at first till I saw her video. And then there's the little panels that go on the inside. You put the tape on the edges of each one of those and stick them to the inside of the box. And you can put as many or as few as you want. I probably should have put more in this one, but I was a little worried I'd get carried away if I did. So I tried to just put two in and use those for all the pieces that I wanted to attach onto my little explosion box. So just get them in there and press it and then check it to make sure it folds down flat. I got one crooked once and had to kind of peel it back off so that it would fold flat. And you wanna make sure it does stay flat so it will mail properly. Now there's panels, little stitch panels that you can put on the tops and bottoms. And I decided to cut these out of some paper that reminded me of Vienna, which is from Ellen Hudson. It's these papers that you can actually color on. They're Copic friendly, you can color on them. And so the panels that are gonna be on the flaps that you see when the box is open are gonna be this pattern. And I decided I didn't like all the fussiness of all those little lines. So I'm just gonna color each one of them in. So they're gonna have little boxes on them instead so it'll be a little less visually distracting because I really wanted all of the rest of the box to be black and white like Vienna is and then the exploding parts to be color. So I cut one of the panels out of the one that's going to go on the back out of white so that I could just color a really quick little bit of a scene just some clouds some quick clouds and some quick hillside so that I'd have something bright in there behind all of the other things that I'm going to put in inside the box and make pop out. So it's almost like having a little picture window there that they're all standing in front of. And I wanted to cut out some of these other little things. There's all these little stars and hearts and banners to put on the little thing that has a stick and it goes across. Yeah, it's a banner thing. But there's all these little foldy banners and I wanted each one of them to be a color. So let's get to them first. I just decided I wasn't going to cut all of them apart because I lose little dies all the time. If you have children or dogs, you know that that happens. I find them all over the place and then I have to figure out where they go back to. So I decided not to cut too much apart if I didn't have to. So I'm leaving some of them together and then I'm just going to color a swatch underneath where each area is. And that way when I die cut everything, it's all going to just be in color and I don't have to worry about coloring it later. So it's going to be easier to not have to color all those little itty bitty pieces and get in getting them to hold still in some fashion. I couldn't figure out how I was gonna do that. So this worked out pretty good. So you can see I popped all those little things out. And then to cut out the sticks for the banner, I put one of the sets, you have to do two sets, 
so that you have them back to back and you sandwich that little string part, that little curve part in between them. And I did it with the Be Creative tape on the back when I cut out one of the pieces so that it would be covered with Be Creative tape. So I have two of them that have Be Creative tape on them and two of them that don't and then I just sandwich them together and then they stick. So the one on the right there has Be Creative tape on it and then I stick the other one on top and bada boom, bada bing, they're going to actually stick together because I didn't know what kind of glue to use and all that kind of thing. So that seemed like an easier way to do it before the die cutting. And what I ended up doing was taping them to the inside. So you can do all different kinds of ways to attach them. I decided taping them was the way to go because I couldn't figure out how to do it otherwise. So I just used some scotch tape on the inside. The kitties, I, I just thought about the personality of my cats and they would hang out in the back. They are not puppy friendly, as I said. So they're just gonna hang out at the back of the party and watch everything and let the dogs run wild and they're just gonna hang out here in the back. So they're just attached with some dimensional adhesive. And here's my little banners that go on my my banner hanger. My I forget what Kelly Marie called it, but yeah, it's a thing that you hang banners on. And there you go. So I just hung them over that edge. And then I got little pieces of acetate. I keep all the scrap acetate in the little drawer. And I cut some that were wide and then I put some of the tape on the top so that I glued that to the back. And that way there's not like a piece of paper or something sticking behind the little feet. Just cut it wide enough that the feet cover it. And then you can't even see that there's anything there and use some of the Be Creative tape to hold it. I'll do the same thing with a little Giallo. Stick him in there. And I'm gonna put them so that when it's closed, they're kind of nose to nose. And when it's open, Vienna's in the front because it's her birthday, so there you go. I added a sentiment onto it, and this is going to be for someone else who it's not a birthday card for, so it's just gonna be sending smooches and look how cute that is when it opens up and there's just this little happy bunch of color in the middle with the doggies and the kitties. I just think it came out really cute and really fun and I hope you enjoyed this finally getting to making an explosion box and now I'm probably going to be making a bunch of them because it was really fun to do. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, click that like button. Make sure you're subscribed if you have not yet already. Here's a link to Kelly Marie's video on how you make this because her explanation could be clearer than mine because mine felt a little like mud. And I will talk to you guys next time. Have a really great day. I'm going to go give Vienna a big old kiss for you. Bye-bye.